Did you know that when you retire, you're going to pay income taxes on the premiums you pay for Medicare and your Medicare supplemental insurance? Did you also know that chances are, if you're not retired, you're probably not being taxed on your health care premiums today? We're Shannon and Michael. We're with Healthcare Genius, and we want to talk to you today about some of the taxation around health care benefits and why there's such a big change from when you're working to when you're retired. Now, when you're working, if you work for a large employer, how it works is you are not taxed federal, state, or FICA taxes. You're not taxed on your health care premiums. So if your employer gives you, let's say, $100 a month towards your health care premiums, you're not taxed on that $100 like you are on the rest of your income. If you're self-employed and you're paying for health care premiums, you can actually deduct those premiums at the end of the year. So Michael, do you want to tell us a little bit about how that changes when you're retired? Yes, Shannon. When when you retire, you're no longer able to deduct your medical premiums in most cases. What happens is that you have to earn more money and after tax dollars to be able to pay for those health care costs. What people don't realize is that they work for a company that has more than 20 employees. They don't necessarily have to sign up for Medicare Part A and B. When you get three months before you're eligible at age 65, you start getting all these mailers and they kind of sometimes scare you, making you think that you have to sign up. But again, if you work for that employer over 20 employees, you can stay on the employer plan until you actually retire from that particular company. And so can your spouse, by the way. So the savings that you can see in these instances can be tremendous versus what happens when you go on to Medicare. That's right. And we actually have a friend of ours, unfortunately, who was not a client at the time, who when he turned 65, he decided to sign up for Medicare. And one of the reasons was because he was getting all these things in the mail. It is really confusing. And so when you get a letter from Medicare saying you have to sign up in three months, of course, you think that that that's what you have to do. But because he was still working for a large employer, he really did have the option. Now, even if he did know that he could have stayed on his group health plan, he wouldn't have made that decision because he was under the impression that once he signed up for Medicare, he was going to save a ton of money on his health insurance. And that just wasn't the reality. Now, in some cases, for some individuals with lower income, that could be true. But in this man's case, he was making enough income that between the the Part B and Part D premiums that he was paying, which we talk about in some of our other videos, really are dependent on your income. And his Advantage plan, that was all taxable now. So it was kind of a dual problem for him. And so he was once paying $350 per month for his health care, health insurance premiums, he was now paying, when you take the tax problem into account, he was paying almost $1,100 a month. He thought this was unacceptable, but unfortunately it was his reality. And once you sign up for Medicare, you can't go back. So that was just a problem that he had to live with. What we want you to think about is, when I get to that age, will I have the option to stay on my group health plan? And is that maybe the better decision? But even more importantly, whether you're 25 or 65, you should have a plan for how you're going to pay for these costs. So we encourage you to watch some of our other videos. And if you'd like to talk with us on how to plan appropriately, feel free to go ahead, go down to our description to apply to become a client. Also, you'll see a link to a complimentary report that you can run to estimate what your healthcare costs are gonna be when you retire, as well as how it will impact your social security. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. Thanks.